Hello, Serge here from a driving range in Germany. Well, I want to talk about something I've, I've, I saw a number of uh, cases of with uh, posture at address. And, and one of them is, is, is getting into the correct posture with the proper arm hang. I saw a lot of too close and a lot of too long, I mean too far. So too close and too far. Let me give you some quick tips about how you can, you can figure both of these out. And I'm going to use one of the alignment arrows to help show it. First off, we want to get into what we call the athletically ready position. Now, I'm going to do this from the side view. That's like if a baseball player is in the field, he's in this position. All right? He just, the knees and shoulders go down together. That's what I call the accordion effect. It's like squeezing an accordion, okay? They go down together. If you go down just shoulders first, the knees go back. If you go just down knees first, the, the shoulders go back. The only way you can get dynamic balance is to go down together. All right? Now, so when, you, when you're addressing the ball from this, uh, and I'm going to show you from this side view, what you always want to see is a good way you can check, out, check yourself out is, is if you're standing here and you feel your weight back on your toes, if you ever see your, weight, your toes coming up like that, there's a good chance your weight's back on the toes, on, on the heels. Conversely, if you're reaching too much and you can feel your heels coming off the ground or that, it's real easy to make your, feels, your heels come up and all your weight's over here, then that means you're reaching too much. But another way you could do it is think about your left thumb for a right-hander and a right thumb for a left-hander. The top thumb, the top hand on, on the club. If you, if you draw a line straight up from that thumb, all right, and that line is anywhere into your chest, you're too close. Optimum alignment for most people with average arm length for their arms, that, that line should come up somewhere about the chin to no more than the nose, all right? Now, conversely, if, you, if you're standing here addressing a ball and you're like this and you, maybe you feel your way a little forward or you're just wondering, period, if, you, if you're okay, if you've been able to sit back but yet still have your hands out there and you draw that line up and it's coming up here at the outside of your nose and, and anywhere farther than that, you're reaching. The optimum position is for the thumb line right here, the thumb, so you can see from this view, right at the very top thumb knuckle of, of uh, where it joins to the hand, it should be from about maybe the mouth to the chin, or just slightly under, all right? Do that checkup, and you're going to find that your weight should always be in the arches, so you should feel equal pressure on the back of the ball pad and the front of the heel pad, all right? So again, just like that athletically ready player in the field. When you're athletically ready, why? Because they, they can turn to the right, to the left, move forward, move back. And what are we doing in golf? We're starting heavy right, we're turning and staying put, and then we swing all the way to the finish. So we have to be over our arches and have the weight equally distributed between the ball pad and the heel pad and in perfect balance and because we're leaning in front of us that means we have to control our ability to not to stay stable I'm not gonna use the not word we're gonna stay stable in those in those arches to lift hit it and stand up okay do all that and get it in the right position and you should have no problem standing here staying balanced feel ready remember knees and shoulders go down together the accordion effect that is the only way that you're going to truly get in posture. Again, most people always walk in and bend over first. Bend over first, the knees go back. Bend the knees too much, shoulder, sh bend the knees too much, shoulders go back. The only way they go down together is they go down together, they get in balance, and you can hit the ball solid and straight and start shooting those better scores. That's it for the search for today, and I'll be speaking with you all again soon.